For the first time in its history, Teaneck has a Muslim mayor. The Bergen County municipality, known for its racial and cultural diversity, has a very large Jewish community. This blending of cultures that tends to clash has attracted a lot of national attention, but now the new mayor is facing his first big local issue. Senior correspondent Marie Denoy Aronson reports. The controversy stems from this, the oldest tree in Teaneck. It stands on a lot that is in bankruptcy proceedings and the tree which at age 250 years or so has health issues and is considered at risk of falling or breaking. So the owners are planning to chop it down. Last night, about 200 residents came to the council meeting to request the town pony up $1.5 million to buy the lot and save the tree. It was Mohammed Hamid Adin's first meeting as mayor, and it was a challenging one. It is a piece of our history, so we would like to see it preserved, but we have no jurisdiction over it or any money to buy it. The tree speaks to Teaneck's attachment to its roots and its history. It is a community with a long tradition of breaking down barriers. Back in the 60s, it was the first predominantly white municipality to voluntarily vote to integrate its public schools, and now Teaneck is embracing yet another first. Its first Muslim mayor is the state's fourth Muslim mayor, his deputy, Adam Gussin, an Orthodox Jew. Do they clash? Yes, but their issues are about community, not faith. There's a lot of disagreement here. I mean, we disagree on the blue laws. He's, he's uh, for repealing it. I'm against repealing it. Um, I'm for the millionaire's tax. He's against the millionaire's tax. On some level, Muhammad and I working together is just sort of what I expect out of life. Um, obviously, on a, on a broader level, it, it, it is a point of interest for, for a lot of folks. Teaneck has seen its share of racial conflict. The 1990 police shooting by a white officer of an African-American teen ignited tensions. Both mayor and deputy graduated Teaneck High School in 1991 and remember those days. They went to school with that African-American teen. The diversity that we have in Teaneck is in many ways our greatest strength, but it can also be the source of, 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 some of our, uh, some of our friction. It's always a work in progress. Depending on who you talk to, there's always issues. Um, the one thing about Teaneck is I think that it's an incubator for understanding. Teaneck residents did not select Hamida Dean to be mayor. The township's nonpartisan form of government involves seven elected council members who nominate and elect a mayor and deputy mayor. I think the gentleman that they chose as mayor is going to do a great job, and I have not detected any problems on the part of my clientele here. I talk to a lot of people. I've been here 25 years, and uh, we're, that's Teaneck. It's a diverse town. It's always accepted people of different uh, ethnic groups. It was one of the only towns to welcome Jews back in the 1940s when other towns were restricted. So uh, we pay it forward. But this first, and this teeming of Muslim and Orthodox Jew, has drawn a lot of attention from the national and international media. But mayor and deputies say they are most focused on challenges that are right in front of them. A state law that caps property tax increases at 2%, and the precarious future of that tree. Marie Denoya Aronson, NJN News, Teaneck.